here in Lesson 64, Part 5, we're dealing with a few gremlins before we go to the golf course. In the last piece, I talked about worrying about the swing, the through swing being slow. I hope that I've con convinced you that the through swing is creative and freewheeling. Another mechanical thing we get advice from friends, oh, Bert, your left arm's bending. That's a big one. And people try to keep their left arm straight. So let me show you a swing that has a bent left arm. And you'll see that in the back swing. You'll see that as I go back, the left elbow bends. Okay. And quite understandably, with that much mobility, I hit a poor shot. On a good day, with confidence, I might make it work, despite the fact that my left arm bends, as I did on that one. But timing, which is the inconsistent thing, is absolutely required to make it work. So, do I want your left arm to be straight in the golf swing? I absolutely do. However, if that's your swing thought, it's a killer gremlin. It's going to damage you. Because if you think about keeping your left arm straight, invariably you'll go back with no wrist hinge and the swing becomes short. What will you do? You're either overswinging the body or, guess what, the left arm bends. Now, the left arm has two functions within the swing. And the first function is that the left arm is a lever. And this mighty lever is the thing that I use to make my shoulder coil. So nobody wants a rubber lever. A lever, by definition, has to be firm and strong. So there is the club, an extension of my left arm lever, and I'm showing you now that the left arm and the shoulder are the major factor in the body rotation and the coil. Now, I've done that with no wrist hinge. So, if you do that on the golf course, if you're terrified of the first tee and rigor mortis sets in, your wrists are stiff, you'll go back, and because the wrists haven't hinged, the left arm will bend. So, do not try to keep your left arm straight as a swing thought. If you can load the shoulder through its 90 degrees and simultaneously hinge the wrists, guess what? Your left arm will stay in line. So, the left arm is a lever, but it's also a spoke of a wheel. So if this spoke is a constant, when you go back and down, it's repetitive. I think you can appreciate that if you go back and the left arm bends, the distance that you are from the ball varies and you'll hit fat shots and thin shots and pure shots. You'll get a mixture. So there we have it. The left arm has two functions. It functions as a lever for the shoulder coil and it functions as a spoke within a wheel. So I want you to imagine if you want your left arm to be in line, which I hope you do, and I want you to do that, but not as a primary string thought. The deal is if you load your shoulder with a blended wrist hinge, your left arm will keep its line. If your left arm keeps its line, it's behaving as a good lever and as a good spoke. So I'll do this one in slow motion for you. Six iron through the pre-shot routine. I'm going to do ultra slow frame by frame. Left shoulder coiling. As the shoulder coils, my wrists are moving through 45 degrees. So I arrive at the top of my swing with 90 shoulder and 90 wrist hinge. You can see that. Okay, so I'm fully loaded. And now I can dispense the power that I've made. So even with the pause, I was able to hit the ball a good distance. Wasn't the sweetest shot I've ever hit. So let me see if I can demonstrate a better one for you. Offering the club, leaning forward. So ultra slow motion, left shoulder, left arm under the throat. As the shoulder coils, my wrists are hinging. You can now see that my left arm is in line. I've got a strong lever and a strong spoke. The power is there, I just dispense it. Okay, so I hit a slightly thin one, then I hit a heavy one. Was my swing wrong? No, quite happy with my swing. I just mistimed it. How do I fix it? Try again. Okay, shoulder and wrist, there's the blend, full coil, now I can release. There you go, third time lucky, as pure as the driven snow. So, Gremlin number one was thinking that a slow through swing was a good idea, we've killed that one.
Gremlin number two, the idea that the left arm has to stay straight. It does, but if that's your swing thought, it will make it worse. The left arm functions as a lever and a spoke. Why? Because if you mix wrist hinge to shoulder turn, there's no reason on this earth that this left arm needs to bend. Okay, so off you go. Mix the shoulder to the wrist and let the left arm take care of itself.